Hello friends and welcome, it's the first day of the new patch and uh, I've been playing some games, I wanted to share some heroes that looked good uh, that you might want to try before anything changes to them. Uh, now this is a very preliminary, don't take any of this as like a tier list or anything, just wanted to share some cool stuff. So first of all, for support players, Witch Doctor has looked really good. I've seen him a couple times in my games, I've seen his pub win rate, it is skyrocketing. Uh, I think a huge part of it is the pure damage on his ultimate. At low armors and at like the start of the game, it's kind of the same as the old alt actually maybe even a little worse but as the game progresses and people get more armor the pure damage is doing way more than the old physical damage used to do so you don't really have to play witch doctor differently than you used to same old witch doctor that you love but you just do a lot more damage with your alt and you kill people so if you like witch doctor now is a great time to play him venge does seem to be doing pretty well with her w buff uh reducing total attack damage i've seen her quite a few times tried her myself and it does seem pretty impactful i don't know if she's like broken or just like playable but uh, it does seem to be much better than in the past and other supports I just haven't seen too much I haven't seen like that much repetition of supports so I'll hold off on going more into the other supports until uh, maybe tomorrow maybe the day after once I get more experience with them in terms of soft supports Tusk has been looking really powerful with the passive attack slow on his tag team when it's maxed out it's pretty much a free Shivas for your team and that's I mean that's pretty powerful so I've been seeing Tusk do pretty well I've seen Earth Spirit uh, I haven't seen him too much in my own games, but I've seen his uh, pub data shoot up uh, from a couple games I've watched. He's been looking really good. If you've ever wanted to learn him, now seems to be a great time. His role not being uh, interruptible once he gets going, and then his Q doing more damage to creeps, allowing him to farm more. I actually think you might see him in the core roles a little bit more than support, but I think he'll, he'll still work in the four support. I will make Invoker work, but I haven't gotten to play it too much yet, so uh, I think it's going to be viable, but I'll get back to that. Uh, the only other four I want to highlight for today is Mark. RC. I wasn't sure how to take her changes, and it's still a pretty small sample size, so, you know, this isn't uh, set in stone, but I've been getting literally punched to death by Marcy's, and they've been doing so much damage to me. I don't know. I guess it maybe it's good. I've been seeing a mix of support Marcy's and core Marcy's, so uh, I was a little worried it might be bad, but it seems to be, you know, pretty pretty good. In the off lane, I've seen a lot of Sand Kings, also Sand King mid. Uh, the Sandstorm change and the Axe change seems to have been good for him, so if you like Sand King, give him a shot. I've also seen a lot of Earth Shakers, a lot of core Earth Shakers. I even lost to a carry Earth Shaker. It was a little disappointing, but maybe he's just that good. I... I didn't realize the changes that would do that much for him, so I don't I don't know why everyone's doing it, but every game I see him, it's been pretty impactful. I guess the uh, the increase to Aftershock Radius has been uh, very useful for Core Earth Shaker, and so he's literally just been slapping people with his totem, uh, doing tons of damage, and being very effective in the games I've noticed so far. In terms of pub win rate data, but I haven't really seen too much myself yet, Slardar and Night Stalker have both been doing very well, if you like those two heroes. I have seen a lot of Necrophoses in the off lane and the mid lane. The Ags does seem to be doing quite a lot of damage uh, so this might be uh, on the rise razor has also looked good and then i tried a jakiro offlane game where we got the ags and it, it felt pretty good but i haven't got to do more of it so uh that might be something that uh doable but maybe not the best i'll let you guys know as i i try it out more in the mid lane i've been seeing a lot of different mid heroes uh from people trying different stuff but uh, i want to highlight bane Believe it or not, he has seemed pretty effective from the games I've seen. Uh, due to the changes he got, he is literally slapping people and they can't do anything about it because he's nightmared them and he's just attacking real fast. Uh, he's a universal hero, so people have just been buying different items. I don't think the build is optimized. I saw like Hurricane Pike, I saw uh, Ags Rush, I saw uh, Manta. So people are just buying some different items and then I, I don't know, they just like either fiends group people with ags and it's pretty low cooldown so the team can kill it or they can kill that person themselves or if they find someone on their own, I saw someone buy a shadow blade and just hunt people down, nightmare them, kill them, move on. Uh, it, it seems to be working so if you want to try it, now is the time. Besides that, I would uh, highlight Invoker. He seems to be doing really well with the changes. I am going to make him work as a four but mid lane is you know where he used to be and it seems to be working so if you like Invoker, there you go. Carries, pub data says that that PA and uh, Wraith King have been doing very well if you want to give them a go. In my own games, I've seen Ricky do pretty well. I've seen Ursa's uh, doing pretty good. And then uh, Chaos Knight seems to be pretty powerful. I saw him as a carry. I think I saw him in some other roles as well. 
But uh, yeah, it does seem good. The numbers, the item changes all seem pretty favorable to him. Besides heroes, if you want to try Midas as a core player supports, I don't think you really need Midas except maybe Ogre Magi. I could see that working. A lot of people are trying Midas. If you missed it, people were even trying multiple Midases, but that doesn't work anymore. So don't do it in your games. It's, it's going to be a waste of gold. They already fixed it. If you didn't know though, you could buy multiple Midases and they all had their own cooldown. But honestly, I don't think it was worth it. I think they could have left it in the game. Uh, even though it was a bug, because it it was really an extreme payoff. It was like, yeah, in 50 minutes, I'm going to be so rich. Uh, but uh, you really shouldn't play that way. So honestly, I think even one Midas, many people are overbuying, overestimating right now. But that's part of a new patch, trying out new stuff. But um, I think if you want to give it a go, people are probably not going to ping you. Core players, again, core player supports. I really don't think you need it. Um, but... I think in the end, people are going to like kind of shift back to other stuff. Because when you buy a Midas, you're not buying some active blink, uh, four staff, maelstrom, like whatever item you could be buying instead around that price range. Things that have impact like right now, like armlet for a lot of these like strength heroes looks very good. Armlet echo compared to a Midas uh, gives a lot more fighting power for early impact. For those of you wondering, map wise, I don't think there's been too much change yet because people are still getting used to it. Like I myself also died because I didn't know a watcher had moved a little bit and I was in enemy vision, so they just came and killed me. So uh, I've seen that a lot. Of people like just kind of playing the same way and it's like, hey, where's the watcher? It used to be here. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit and then we'll see like if that changes how people want to play the map. Uh, same with the outpost moving, but um, I'll let you know about that in a future video. So that's it. Just a quick update from what I've seen today. Let me know if I am missing anything. Share it in the comments. Let's discuss. Let's figure out the next broken stuff. Clinks from the last patch. That was a lot of fun. I want to find something like that this patch. So uh, let me know any cool ideas you have. I'll be trying it all uh, on stream when I'm playing. You can drop by at uh, twitch.tv slash zquixotics. Today I built Aghanim's Dagonon Lion. We lost that game, but I don't think it was because of me. So if you want to see stuff like that, then uh, drop by the stream if you got a moment. I'll see you later.